Oh, hey, hey. I am finishing up my blush this morning. I decided to wear a really cute sweater. This was actually a gift. Um, I love it. It's gold and shimmery and blingy, and that's what I like. So, I decided since I was going to wear this really far out sweater, that for me would be an everyday look. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm going to go a little bit more lighter on my makeup, not so much. I'm finishing up my blush, and I'm going to show you this blush that I just made out of eyeshadow. It's really cool. I actually am using a coaster for my mixer today. It says, put on, put on some lipstick, pull yourself together, Elizabeth Taylor. Somebody gave me this as a gift, and I decided to pick it up and use it for my mixing palette today. Mm. So... I did get my lips done yesterday. I got lots of great comments. I got messages and like, I got people that said, oh, ouch, I would never do that. And like, oh, well, it, it really didn't hurt. She puts numbing cream on your lips. So it's very numb when she does it. And then every little stick that you get has lidocaine in it. So the more she does, like, you don't even feel it at all by the end. But anyway, so you can see my lips are bigger, a little bigger, not too big for me, I don't think. I like things big. What can I say? Um, but anyway, when you get Juvederm the first time, so the one syringe that you're going to get, if you decide to get it, it's not going to make your lips big like this. So your lips are not going to look like mine after one syringe. Of, no way they're not. Okay, because I get it like every six months, sometimes every eight months, and I get it one, one syringe at a time, and then it's layered in there. And so it's like a maintenance, okay? So you're maintaining them just like you're getting your nails done, but you just only go maybe twice a year. So if you just get one Juvederm, you're not gonna have big lips, okay? You're just gonna have firmer lips. They're not gonna have the wrinkles in them, and nobody's gonna even notice except you. I mean, somebody's gonna notice, but they're not gonna know. That's the, that's the thing, they're not even gonna know. Well, me, I don't even care who knows. You already know that about me. I don't care. And so, some people said, oh my gosh, that looks like it hurts. And it didn't hurt. Of course, I have a really high pain tolerance, by the way. Okay. Now, I do have a bruise. And I'll show you that. Right under my lip. Okay? So, I have on Lip Sense today. So, there's more than just one bruise on my lips. Y'all can't see it because Lip Sense covered it up. Now, the color of Lip Sense that I wore today is a really nude color. It's called First Love. It's very pretty. Um, actually, I have therapy today on my back. So, yesterday was my first day to go to that therapy. And the lady that checked me in, like, I just happened to notice she wears lipstick. So, I didn't have my hand painted yesterday. But when I go in today to get my therapy on my back, I will have my hand painted. And she will say, girl, what is that all over your hand? And I'm going to say, oh, honey, it's lipstick. Like, do you wear lipstick? She's going to go, oh, yeah. And I'm going to show her how it stays on. And that will interest her. That's called wowing people. So, that leads into a conversation about the eyeshadows and the skincare. And I will give her a beauty book that she can look through. And I'll just happen to be going back to therapy. And she happens to know lots of people, I'm sure. Okay, so I'm going to paint my hand with some colors. So, actually, I put on Fire and Ice, which is the, this one. It's not really red. It's more of a neutral. And then I put on Precious Topaz. And I put on First Love. So, those are three great colors. Those are three top selling colors for me as well. But those will dry really quick on my hand and then it won't smudge. It'll be on like for three days. Okay, so I have on First Love on my lips. Very nude color for me. I love it uh, when I'm wearing a nude. And I also put on gloss. Oh, what do I do with that gloss? Now the gloss that I put on is sand gloss. So let me show you that. It's kind of a beigey color gloss. And you'll see this, it's kind of a beigey. And I very rarely wear browns, but sand is going to be a really, kind of anybody can wear sand. You can wear it on top of pinks or reds or anything like that. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I did my eye. Now, I want you to notice my eyelashes. That is one thing I want you to see. So, if you look at my lashes, now, the reason they seem to be longer, well, they are longer, but the reason you can see them longer is because I'll, of the way I lined my eyes today, and I'm going to show you that. It's a little trick. Okay, on my eyeshadows, because I'm wearing gold and I'm wearing black um, cuddle duds up under this pretty gold sweater that is like my new favorite sweater ever. 
I'm using Mocha Java, okay? Now, Mocha Java is also going to be my blush, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So, we're going to put Mocha Java. This is eyeshadow scents from Synagence. These are cream to powder shadows. They're one of my very favorite products that we have, so it's not all about lip color, and it's, it's definitely not all about lip color. So, when you start using it, I had a, a, a great friend come over yesterday. She started to be a really good customer of mine, and she said, this stuff is addictive. And I'm like, girl, I already know because nobody you know wants one. They all want that one and then they want another color and then they want another gloss and then they're like, oh, I want another color. And then they're like, oh, let me try the eyeshadows. Oh, she bought three yesterday. And then she's like, I said, okay, girl, we're gonna sell you the three that you're not gonna be scared of. Um, her name is Robin. And so I did her eyes yesterday <clears throat> and she bought these three shadow colors because these are three shadows that anybody can use. This is Candlelight, Mulberry, and Mocha Java. Okay, so I'm gonna, I just used Mocha Java, that's the brown, all over my, almost all over. I didn't go all the way to the top, but I did on my lid. Now, what am I gonna do with Candlelight? Now, if I was wearing pink, I would have done the, mul the Mulberry where I just put the Mocha Java. I could make blush with Mulberry if I wanted to do pink blush. Today, I did the brown. So today's gonna be these two shadows, and I'm gonna add in for a little bit darker is Rustic Brown. I'm also gonna be using Rustic Brown in my eyebrow. Okay, so Candlelight Eyeshadow. This is the one. So if you have uneven color on your lids, if you have dark lids, if you have veins, like the veiny look, uh, dark circles, whatever, on your eyelids, you will get those. The older we get, we get them. It's, I don't know what causes it. But Candlelight Eyeshadow is a great cover for that. So it's eyeshadow. Now watch, I'm gonna use it to cut the crease on mine. So I've got Mocha Java everywhere almost. I'm gonna take Candlelight Shadow. I'm gonna put it here on my lid. I'm gonna smooth it in just like this so that it just actually gave me a perfect shaped lid on top of that Mocha Java. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Rustic Brown. This is a dark brown, but I'm gonna use very little. So I'm gonna use a tiny bit off the applicator on a brush. I'm gonna tap it here, like in the crease. Now, if you smooth Rustic Brown out, it will be very, it will be a light brown, but if you want it dark, you just leave it, don't smooth it as well, as much. So that's what I'm doing. I'm not, sm I'm smoothing it, but not as much. And I'm not even a brown girl, but I'm wearing brown today, and it's really pretty. So if you like brown, you'll love this. And then you're also gonna love the way I'm gonna make my blush. It's very cool. Okay, now, I just used Rustic Brown for the dark. Now what I'm gonna do on my eyebrow, I'm also gonna do Rustic Brown in my eyebrow. So let's see, I'm gonna use a eyebrow brush. I got it right here, let me see. So I'm gonna use this. Just gonna brush my brow up a little. It's gonna give me a great eyebrow lift. So I'm gonna use a little brush like this. This is an angle brush. I'm gonna tap this rustic brown on this brush. And then I'm gonna tap this shade. This is the eyeshadow, the same eyeshadow that I just used. But it's gonna make a really great color for my brow. So I'm just sort of swishing it back and forth in the brow that I have. I'm gonna go underneath the brow Make a line, just like this. Any little brush that you can get that's tight will work for this. All right, now I'm gonna brush the brow down. This is my actual real brow that I'm brushing. I'm gonna take this little brush, I'm gonna make a stencil, I guess you'd call it, or a little road map to follow, and give myself an angle, or actually an arch, I guess you'd call that arch. Fill it in with rustic brown shadows. And it'll give you a perfectly arched eyebrow. I love to see other people's pictures. So if you have um, done your brows this morning, or if you've done your lips, or anything that you have done, your eyeshadow may be a cool way, post your picture in my comments. I want to see that. Not on private messenger. I'd rather see it in my comments. My messenger blows up. Um, and then if you'll share it in the comments, then other people can see how you're doing yours. So that's a really cool that we can share like that. Okay, so that right there is a very good arched brow. Now, if, now look, that one's round, that one's arched. Go figure. 
So now I've got to figure out which one I like best. Hmm. Which one do y'all like best? Do y'all like the arched brow the best? Or do you like the round, the rounder, smoother coat, smoother one? It's hard to pick. Over here, I got way more space up here to lighten. Hmm. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick one and go with it. So, y'all are probably saying you like the rounder side. I'm not reading the comments because then I'll get all confused. Okay, so I'm just going to I'm gonna lead. I'm going to be the leader here. The leader of the pack just picks what she does and does it. Cool part is I can do it round tomorrow. <laughs> ah, you can do whatever you want. Be yourself. I posted that yesterday. Be yourself. Okay, so I gave myself more of an arch over there. Not quite as much. So what I'm going to actually do, I'm going to take that candlelight eyeshadow, the one that I used on my lid, take a little bit, and I'm going to actually clean this up so it won't be quite as defined of an arch over there. Oh, yeah. I think that's better. And after all, I'm just going to get some therapy on my back. Now, that one's thinner on the side. This one's thicker. They're never going to be identical twins. They're always going to be sisters. All right. You leaving? Love you. Okay. Now, what I did on my eyeliner to make you see my eyelashes long more, because my eyelashes are very predominant right now. I do have longer lashes because our mascara and our undersense will actually help your eyelashes to grow. So your undersense and your mascara, this is called Lash Extend. I mean, not Lash Extend, excuse me, Volume Intense. Volume Intense, Lash Sense, and then your undersense and the light blue. These actually have an ingredient in them that will help your eyelashes to grow thicker and longer. So when you use these, you're actually getting a lash serum that's actually built in. Okay, so the eyeliner is an eyeliner black pencil that I'm gonna use. Now what I did was I lined the inside they actually call this tight lining. So I'm gonna line the inside of my top water line like this. And then I'm gonna uh, uh, line the bottom inside water line. Now these liners, this pencil liner will stay on. It's a great eyeliner. It's waterproof, um, it's smear proof and sweat proof. So when you use it, it'll still be on late this evening. Okay, so on my waterline inside, and that's what's going to help, you'll see. Now, because I kept the candlelight on my lid, which is lighter, and I tight lined with the pencil liner, that is why my lashes are more predominant. Like, I notice when I take a picture that you can see my lashes more when I line the inside and then when I use candlelight on the lid. So we're gonna curl that, and then we're gonna use the under sense. This is a primer that will um, thicken your lashes right immediately. And also it has the ingredient in it to help okay. your lashes to grow. So you'll have 43% more lash growth, thicker and longer after like four weeks, you'll notice. Oh, you'll be noticing, you'll love this. This is the best primer ever. I don't know how long I've been using this one, a long time, because there's a lot of product in here. You're supposed to throw your mascara away after three months. And I don't put a date on mine, but I can assure you that I have probably been using this one for, I'm gonna guess, eight months. That's crazy, I know. But what happens is, I bend my wand, I wanna get all the product out. So after you get, you like, no more will come out. You're like, oh, it's all empty. Then you just bend your wand a little bit and then it goes in at a different angle and there's plenty of in there. I just can't make myself throw it away because it's still good. I love it. I love it. Okay. All right, so under sense. On the top and then on the bottom. You can do that with your mascara wands as well. Y'all just bend your wand a little. And then you can get way more mascara out of your tube before you throw it away. Okay. 
Now I'm gonna do black mascara. This one is called um, Volume Intense Black. This is the waterproof. This is my best seller. We have it in humidity proof too. So if you if you don't want it waterproof, that's so good. If you don't want it waterproof, you can get it in the gold tube, and the gold tube is humidity proof. It comes in black, brown, or black brown, and it also comes in purple. It also comes in blue. It also comes in regal, which is a green color, very pretty. But those are really pretty mascaras if you don't have those, um, especially during holiday seasons. Okay, so now when I do my black mascara, you'll be able to see it's going to make my lashes look longer and thicker even because of the candlelight being on my lid and the eyeliner being on the, the inside of the line. So when you do that, your eyelashes are way more predominant and you'll see them much more. So these are my real lashes. Now these are the days when I'm when I'm doing my eyes like this that people will ask me, is that your real lashes? Because they are so thick and they are really that long and they're very noticeable with tight lining with the pencil in the waterline and then the candlelight on the lid. So lighten your lids. You want to use candlelight because it's a great base. Like, I, I mean, and it stays on so well. So candlelight is a must. Everybody needs candlelight. Um, I haven't shown you yet how I made my blush, but I'm about to do that. Okay, so that is perfect. And by the way, if, if you're new to my videos, thank you. I am, I live in Louisiana. Uh, I am a very real person. I put my real self out here. I don't try to fake it. Um, sometimes you like me, sometimes you don't. But that's the thing about us. We all are real people and we should be ourselves and not be try to be fake all the time. Why, I, fakeness, don't cut it with me. I'm like, you like me or you don't. Okay. I'm just very honest. That's the thing with me. I'm honest. I tell them, oh, I'm very honest. My daddy taught me that. Okay. Mocha Java is the light brown that I used on my eye. So what I'm going to do, it's an eyeshadow. These are cream to powder eyeshadows. You will love them. If you've been using powder eyeshadows your whole life, get over it. Okay. You need to listen to me. I'm being very honest here. Get past the powder shadows. Thing of the past. Go with the cream to powder. They're going to stay on. Ours actually has skincare in them. Um, so Mocha Java, I just put a little bit on this um, coaster. I'm actually going to take a foundation that we have. It's called Pearlizer, so it's glowy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix a tiny bit of that with that Mocha Java eyeshadow. And then I'm, I'm going to mix it just like this. So I'm making a really pretty brown shimmery blush is what I'm doing out of eyeshadow. Now, if I was wearing mulberry and pinks, I would have done the exact same thing that I just did. I would have mixed mulberry eyeshadow with pearlizer, and then I would have made a really pretty pink shimmery blush. Just easy. This is just easy. So now you have the browner tone of blush, and that tone is also on my shadows. That way, everything will look more put together. So First Love Lip Sense is a nude color. That's the one I'm wearing. You've got, um, I'll show you. This is First Love. Very pretty. I'm wearing Sand Gloss on my lips. I have Mocha Java Shadow for blush. I have Mocha Java on my eyes. I have Candlelight on my eyes as well. And then on my brows, I used, oh, let me put my hand on it. I put Rustic Brown in my eyebrows, which is a shadow. And I also have it in the crease part of my eye. So that is what I'm wearing um, and this is a really good makeup palette right there. So if you're scared of color or you want to do something more minimal or you want to do something that you can use for different things, like you can't go wrong with any of this. First Love Lip Sense, Sand Gloss, Mocha Java, Mocha Java Shadow for your eyes, Candlelight for your eyes, Rustic Brown for your brows and for your dramatic part of your eyes. Um, also, I use the black pencil liner. And then on the mascara, I used the Lash, um, the Volume Intense Black Waterproof, and then I used the Undersense. So that's what I'm wearing today with gold. And then I'm gonna touch up. I, I wore Dewy Foundation. I use that most every day. Um, so I mix a little bit of Dewy Foundation with some Pearlizer. It's all over. I stippled it on with the brush, just like this. 
And then on my powder, I'm gonna use natural powder and it comes in a, in a tube like this. I probably did not teach anybody that watches my videos a lot anything brand new today. But if I did, please say what I taught you brand new under the comments. I like to read because it gives me new ideas to do tomorrow. Okay, so natural powder, very pretty. So this is not um, over the top. The sweater would be over the top. And if you could see my boots, they're way over the top. But I'm gonna put on some over the top earrings. I got these from uh, a, a, a page on Facebook, Daughter of the King. Um, love these, I bought these. It's my first thing I ever bought from her. Sweet girl. Um, and these are beautiful and I love them and they're very blingy and they are exactly like my boots. So you have a blessed day today and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye girls.